what up people how's it going this is Bharat here welcome back to yet another video we're going to be starting off this series with the setup instructions on how to uh, use the PyQt5 uh, for your uh, development purposes I'm going to be primarily doing everything on my Linux machine here but uh, the command on everything is going to be similar for across all the different OS's so do not panic just just follow me along and you'll be uh, fine by the end of this video series a couple of points before we start there are a few video series on the youtube already on pyqt but some of them are really old in a sense that the pyqt has come a long way right now there are a lot of new methods available there are a lot of new things that you can do with pyqt5 and so i'm going to be talking about the latest pyqt5 and not the older versions of pyqt5 or the uh, older versions of PyQt itself. So make sure that you uh, all have the Python 3.7 already pre-installed and also the pip3 pre-installed. I'm not going to be going through the instructions for installation of all of that. So we're going to be directly making use of the uh, pip3 command to get started with all the important libraries that we need. The first library that we need is obviously the PyQt5 itself. So all you have to do is just do a, a sudo pip3 install and just put pyqt5 so if you see it's already installed for me so it you, you needn't worry about that it says that the pyqt5 is installed the pyqt zip is installed and that is pretty much it so you don't i needn't worry about it so it will take about uh, maybe 20 to 30 seconds uh, for you to install all the dependencies and download all the libraries and uh, download all the wheels for that now let's get directly started now once the pyqt5 is uh, pre-installed or installed using the pip command we're going to be also writing a very simple uh, program as part of this video to understand how the PyQt5 is arranged. So if you see the PyQt5, uh, PyQt5, it's arranged in a lot of different modules. I'm going to be going through this here. The important modules that we are going to be making use of in this entire series is starting with the Qt core. So the Qt core has been there from the initial versions of PyQt. Uh, I told you guys about how the PyQt started evolving and how it changed the way the GUA programs are written right now and how the uh, how the company that owns the PyQt library is doing uh, as part of the current revisions. So that those, those all of that were in the previous video. So if you are not uh, coming from that video, I would highly encourage you guys to go check that video. It's just a simple introductory video on what exactly is PyQt5. Uh, so the PyQt5 right now has an important module called as the Qt Core. The second important module is the Qt GUI and the Qt Widgets. So pretty much the uh, three uh, modules that have been staying uh, from the initial versions of PyQt and there are very slight modifications to the current PyQt5 versions and we're going to be seeing about that in upcoming videos. There are a lot of new uh, widgets, there are a lot of new uh, core libraries that are added as part of these important components under the PyQt the umbrella and uh, once that is completed we're also going to be having a lot of different modules uh, starting from the Qt multimedia, Qt bluetooth, Qt network, Qt positioning all of these are recently added as part of the Qt4 and Qt5 versions so that's pretty much the important concepts that we're going to be learning about in the upcoming videos so to, to begin with let's go straight away write a simple program I already have the entire structure here written I also have the entire uh, project created so I'm going to be opening opening up the terminal before that I'll just go quickly write uh, create a simple file I'll call this file as the uh, let's call this a Qt main file or we'll call it PyQt main because it's easy for me to do it so yeah the PyQt Py is created we're going to be writing the first code for the entire uh, entire series here this this is a simple thing you're going to be seeing about this in the lot uh, upcoming videos obviously it's going to be from Qt as soon as you type it, it auto, it's automatically going to complete it for you. Everything is going to be under the PyQt5 umbrella. So PyQt, you have the Qt. If you go inside, you will see all of that. We're going to be using the Qt core. And we're going to be importing the first one, which is nothing but a simple check to verify that our entire thing is working fine. So I'll just do this. And once this is uh, done, just print it. And we will see how this actually works. Just run it. And as you can see, it's automatically saying it's 5.15.0. That means our revisions are installed properly. Our libraries are installed properly. And that is actually a very good thing to go forward. All right. So as part of this next step is that we're going to be creating a very simple application of the widget on the UI. And it's not going to do much. It's just going to see if it works for us. And we're going to be ending the video right there. So as you see, the PyQt5 is in a bigger umbrella, it's got the bigger package and there are a lot of things inside that Qt Core is there, Qt GUI is there. We're going to be making use of the Qt widgets 
and uh, inside the qt widgets you're going to be doing two uh, importing two important classes one is a queue up application uh, which is where the entire base application is going to be created followed by the next one is going to be the queue widgets uh, which is actually very important where we can understand create widgets that can be attached to the application and shown to the user so that's pretty much the idea so how do you go how do you go about doing that let's write five simple line of code here i'll explain every single line of code uh, one by one the starting with the def main block obviously if you are understanding if you are uh, being writing python code for some time you'll understand that the main block is very very important so the next thing that you're going to do is create an app uh, it's a very simple variable let's call this application if you want to and that's where you're going to be creating a simple object of the queue application class all right so this application if you go inside it's something that i teach in my uh, important videos i tell about this in a lot of videos if you see it goes inside and it takes uh, the the application class it takes in a list of p string is none it doesn't matter so this is going to be a list what does it list there? list to say it's going to have it's going to control lot of different opportunity it can control lot of different actions by just passing in the name of the action so if you want to actually go ahead and control all of this you can do that by directly writing or triggering the main application from our python uh, shell itself so let's let's not confuse about all of that for now we can just say we can pass an empty list if you want to but if you want to control the entire application from a simple command line i would highly encourage you guys to go and import the sys uh, which is a python inbuilt python library and do a sys.argv so what does actually the argv do the sys.argv is actually going to be returning giving lot of different uh, commands for, ex for example if you have uh, something in terminal here and you type python 3 i'm going to be typing pyqt main not pi and i can pass in multiple parameters to the pyqt main file the if if you are un unaware of what a sys that arg we do it's very simple it's going to be helping me pass a lot of different arguments from my python shell into my python code or the my python program here the uh, the main block is going to be where the entire python program is going to start so if you want the sys argv is going to hold different arguments that are passed after the python3 command in this example the python3 command is followed by the pyqt main.py which is the uh, file name which is which i want to execute if i have different parameters to pass for example let me do like a version v and i want to pass another parameter called as version t so something like this these are the different parameters i can pass to the pyqt main pi and that is going to be held as part of the sys.argv okay let's not worry about all of that and that's the explanation for that line and that's why i wanted to give about that I, that's why i wanted to talk about that all right we have passed in a application or a list of uh, values here to the queue application we have created the application uh, object as well and the next thing that we're going to do is create a widget the widget is very simple you can do is just make an object of q widget and that's it we're just done and q widget is now empty it doesn't have anything now we can go and add what we want to have the first thing we're going to do is obviously control the size how do you control the size you can just do widget dot resize if you just do resize you can put in two values for that one is going to be obviously the length obviously the next is going to be the breadth if you guys are not understanding what i'm doing at this this space just go ahead and type all the lines that i'm typing and go ahead and read the documentation one by one it says that resize is going to be taking an int comma int which means that it's going to be taking the size in the form of length and breadth so that's it so we have given it a size of 250 i can even give a 250 250 here makes it a little bit bigger on the screen so that's what i want to next i want to do is just go ahead and create something called as a widget dot set window tile i'm going to be giving it a title so that when the application opens up it is not empty i'm going to say that this is a sample by qt5 app something like that all right so this is it so window tile is created and now we want to show the window and uh, that window is now also going to be attached to the application so what i'm going to do is just do widget dot show pretty much it that's it i've shown the window and next thing i'm going to do is obviously now it's the, the entire thing is now created as part of the application the main is going to be executed the application is going to be created the window is going to be created it's going to be resized to 250 250 the title is going to be set and it's going to be shown to the user cool right but 
how do you create or how do you execute the application now you can do the application execution by doing an exact underscore now why is that actually required now if you see the exec is a python inbuilt keyword you cannot create methods or you cannot create variables with an inbuilt keyword it's called as uh, reserved keywords you cannot do that so what they did was just added the underscore to that end of this method now you can execute it now the application is also going to give a lot of different exit values now you don't want the application to exit directly out of nowhere so what you usually do is also include the system.exit may be required some places but it's not usually guaranteed to exit all the time so the application.exe will actually come out if you close the application sometimes it doesn't you doesn't come out all the time so what they do is just wrap it around the sys exit which makes it completely come out all the time all right so these are the five six lines actually yeah six lines of code and you're going to be executing it where do you execute it obviously put it inside the main in pycharm is very simple just type main hit enter and it automatically does it for you all right so we've gotten uh, we've actually going to be having a triggering point the triggering point is the main block goes inside the main block creates an application automatically hits the widget creates the widget resizes it uh, puts a window title for it shows it to the user and execute the application if the user exits the application it will come out the entire application or the entire method or the entire python file itself program itself will come out all right time to execute it and see for ourselves how does it work awesome right see it's a 250 by 250 application it doesn't have enough space to go and show everything if i can resize it it does show awesome right so that's that's pretty much uh, what i wanted to show as part of this setup video hope this is informative and uh, let's get started in upcoming videos on more about pyqt5 and what are the different widgets and layouts and gui uh, uh, items present all right stay tuned for the next video let's jump up and learn more about pyqt5